are super glad to be back. We were supposed to do training throughout last year, but of course it was canceled and we postponed it. So we're starting back up our welding and CNC training with our DOC students. We uh, started training with DOC in 2018 and this was all created through an initiative that the governor challenged the IDOC to get training and skills for the offenders. And that's when we started the CNC and welding training. They leave with American Welding Society qualifications and flux core arc welding so that they can go in and obtain a job with that. That's a way to get it fit in the door. Wide range of skills, everything from simple problem solving, uh, basic math skills, measuring skills, and then all the way up to how do we turn on these CNC machines with all these buttons to, to running a part in the very end that we can hold tolerances to a couple thousandths of an inch in, in size dimensions. We've always strived to provide that hands-on training. Uh, something very few can do, especially in the light of pandemic. A lot of virtual training took place, so it kind of hurt us in the long run. But we're back to it now, and we're providing that hands-on experience for our students. They get to come in, touch things, create things, build things. I'm picking up a new trade, helping myself, helping my family. Like, I won't have to go to the world and back to what I used to be. So having that in my pocket, too, and on my resume, when an employer looks at it, they say, you know, he's a double threat guy. He can weld fab and run a CNC machine. They, they actually see the results from what they've made with their hands and their minds. And uh, Ivy Tech, we've always strived to do that, you know? It's just it's very special because people still need to make things. Not everybody can sit behind a desk and work on a computer. We really need people to make things, build things, build roads, bridges, things like that. Being able to use these machines, understand these machines, run them, operate them, maintain them, and, and produce good precision parts on these machines is, is crucial. They're wanting to learn. They're wanting that gainful employment when they're released. I have employers from you know all over the area calling me constantly needing uh, skilled CNC machinists, operators, setup technicians, and we simply, there's just not simply enough of them coming in the doors to supply what the current workforce demands are. If they're a skilled employee who will show up to, to work every day, who will be coachable, who will you know be a reliable, good employee willing to learn, it doesn't matter what their background is. I won't have to look over my shoulder or anything like that. I can actually go to work and cash a check and pay my bills to provide for my family. Society's seeing people as giving them a second chance and making things better. So, I mean, we all make mistakes. It's what we do after that and what we learn from it. 